just Chad Evans. Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, we've got a flood watch in effect for Warren over towards Tippecanoe, Carroll, Howard counties and points southward for tonight through early Saturday morning for about one to one and a half inches of rain that's going to fall on pretty wet ground around here. So most of that's going to run off and could lead to at least some areas of minor flooding. This is some of the rain and storm action already forming to our southwest. You can see the severe thunderstorm watch here over parts of southwest Missouri. This is moving northeast, and I think this entire area a little farther north will fill in this evening with rain and storms as well. The only thread of any Weather even close to being severe tonight would be perhaps an isolated pea-sized hailer with some of these showers and storms as they pass. That is the warm front. The cold front's developing to the west and already the very strong jet stream energies popping severe storms in Texas. And that energy is going to eject into the plains. We're going to form a strong low pressure right here. That will move northeastward and that will bring severe weather as we get towards Friday night. But this evening, no severe weather to speak of. Turning cloudy, 54 here by 7, 49 by 11, some scattered showers and perhaps a thunderstorm gradually moving in and the wind picking up. We could get some east wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour by 11 o'clock. So that will be the warm front. These showers and storms will continue into at least the early half of tomorrow, then gradually taper down in the afternoon. Then the main line of storms comes through tomorrow night. It looks like generally in that 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. time frame. And then yet that front that comes through Friday night will come back north as a warm front. More rain, more storms Saturday night right into Monday. And a severe weather threat will evolve by Tuesday afternoon and evening. Tonight, though, here's the warm front. Rain and a few storms will overspread the viewing area. But notice how a lot of this kind of pulls out of here certainly by midday tomorrow. So we may get into a bit of a lull in the afternoon as the warm front lifts northward. Could even see a few peaks of sunshine. Temperatures warming up with time. After 50s for a good chunk of the day, we'll be headed for at least the 60s late in the day. And finally, tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. This is the main line of storms that will pass through with a thread of damaging straight line winds, perhaps a tornado or two, and some large hail. That pulls off to the east, nothing more than an early shower Saturday. And then Saturday afternoon is looking windy, dry, and highs near 70. This is rainfall tonight right through Saturday morning. Notice one to one and a half inches of rainfall area wide. And this is taking into account tonight through Tuesday. The entire viewing area looking at about three inches of rain, perhaps even a little bit more than that in isolated places. Rain and thunderstorms developing tonight, 45, 63. Rain and storms gradually tapering tomorrow. We will rise to 68 tomorrow night, 70 Saturday, and notice the low 70s right to Monday, 78 Tuesday, and that will be the severe weather threat early next week. Okay, well, it's going right around the corner. <laughs> finding yeah. yourself tuning, uh, turning up the TV more and more lately? Well, sounds like our house. Coming up in Health Minute, doctors.